Thanks to Brilliant for supporting this episode of SciShow. Go to brilliant.org slash scishow to learn how you can take your STEM skills to the next level this year. Lots of fish have been documented eating birds, from bass to tiger sharks. But usually it happens in a kind of accidental way that doesn't require much effort from the fish. Like some fish might snag a bird that's sitting on a reed just above the surface. And even those sharks are just snacking on songbirds that get worn out during their migration over the Gulf of Mexico. But overall, the only way most fish are going to eat a bird is if it comes to them, not tiger fish. In a 2013 paper, researchers documented these huge toothy fish leaping from the water to catch swallows in mid-flight in a lake in South Africa. Which isn't something fish are generally adapted to do, but the researchers documented two different tactics they used to go after their feathery prey. Some of the time, the fish just went for it, lunging directly at a bird from deep water. Other times, they just chased along after a bird from just under the water's surface before leaping out after it. And the chasing method was the less successful of the two. The researchers believe that's because the fish had to compensate for the way their view of the birds was distorted by the water, and some were better at it than others. When light passes from air into water, it gets bent, or refracted. That makes objects appear distorted and shifted slightly compared to where they actually are. If you've ever noticed how a drinking straw appears to make a zigzag at the surface of a glass of water, you know what bird hunting fish have to contend with. The researchers observed that the fish who couldn't compensate went for the less successful surface pursuit strategy. But the fish that were better at taking refraction into account and adjusting their aim accordingly were able to use the more successful lunging from the deep tactic. And we're not just talking about an occasional snack. During the 15-day study, these tigerfish ate 300 swallows. But why? Effective though they are, tigerfish aren't evolved to be natural predators of swallows. Normally, they prey on other, smaller fish. However, the lake they live in is artificial, created by a dam it doesn't have a lot of those prey fish living in it. In fact, these particular tigerfish have to spend as much as three times as much time foraging for food as their cousins in other habitats. So supplementing their diet with passing birds might be one way they're adapting to this situation. But it has its downsides too. The researchers who did the study think that leaping into the air after swallows could be exposing the tigerfish to predation by other birds, like eagles. They're hoping that other scientists will continue to study this unique ecological interaction to make sure it isn't putting either the tigerfish population or the swallow population at risk. But either way, it sounds like small birds in South Africa should probably be keeping an extra close eye out whenever they have to fly over water. Now, it turns out these fish had to solve a physics problem figuring out how the bending of light was making it harder to target their prey. Maybe they should have signed up for Brilliant's Waves and Light course. They would have learned all about how light and other kinds of waves travel, and maybe snagged a meal a little easier. All of Brilliant's courses have storytelling, code writing, and interactive problems. You can go to brilliant.org slash scishow to learn more, and score 20% off an annual premium subscription. 